This is ESPN on ABC. Brought to you in part by Samsung QLED TV, the official TV of ESPN College Football. Tonight, these Nittany Lions know well what is waiting for them. Pure white noise. Energy that can be seen, heard, and felt. Meanwhile, Michigan. Jim Harbaugh has told his team nothing can make them feel more alive than defeating this hostile crowd and this home team. The monochromatic mayhem, the deafening unity of the Penn State Whiteout awaits us all. Two of the oldest programs in the land. Pride and tradition on full display all day and into the night. It's time to light another Big Ten bonfire. Every seat will feel the heat in Happy Valley. Michigan enters and awaiting them unbeaten Penn State in a sea of white. Shea Patterson and the one loss Wolverines mean to keep their Big Ten title hopes alive. Throws, he's got a man wide open. Touchdown, Michigan! While the Clifford the Hammer connection. Leaping for the end zone. Touchdown! Plus the Nittany Lions D. Under pressure. Down again. Keeps their torch for the playoff. The plays. It is an angry rite of passion on Saturday Night Football. Welcome to Beaver Stadium in Happy Valley and football's most photogenic event. 110,000 strong in a show of unity, all dressed in whites. Welcome to Saturday Night Football on ABC, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. And tonight's Big Ten collision between the once-beaten 16th-ranked Michigan Wolverines and the undefeated 7th-ranked Nittany Lions of Penn State, one of 11 remaining unbeatens in college football. It's been a series that's been marked by routes in recent years. Michigan mauled here in a whiteout two years ago, but then last year in the big house, Harbaugh's crew got sweet payback, overpowering Penn State, which sets the stage for us here tonight. And welcome, Chris Fowler, Kirk Herbstreit. Thrilled that you're with us. Tiger Stadium a week ago, the whiteout tonight. Life is good, as Mr. Corso would say. I mean, these are the two of the best settings you could argue in all of college football, back-to-back -back weeks. We just hope that this game lives up to what we had a week ago. Nothing that happens tonight is going to be more surprising than this result. Unbeaten Wisconsin led Illinois throughout in Champaign, led by 10. Taylor fumbled, then this interception by Cone. Made by Tony Adams, sets up the game-winning walk-off field goal by James McCourt. They haven't trailed all year, so one second left. Wisconsin took a chance there on that third and five, showed some courage to make the throw. Illinois takes advantage with the interception. Big win for Lovey Smith. Big look ahead for the Badgers. Meanwhile, Pacific Northwest bit a rivalry. Washington led by 10. Justin Herbert took over in the fourth quarter. A fourth down touchdown to Pittman. Twice on this drive alone, they went for it on fourth down, down 10 on the road in that environment. Then Red with the game-winning touchdown. Ducks defense got a stop. This was sweet and a very salty rivalry. And now back to this rivalry. Here come the Wolverines, Kirk. And in this situation, they have been very wobbly under Harbaugh. Have not pulled a single upset. Have really struggled against top 10 teams. Yeah, if you're a player, it's not that really that you focus on. You focus on the fact that two years ago you came in here and got embarrassed. This this Michigan team, the Michigan team is very focused. They look in their eyes on the field before the game. I think they're tired of hearing about all that nonsense around them. And they're incredibly fired up. Now they got to go out and execute. Indeed, James Franklin's team has put itself in playoff contention, but the second half of the season, a whole bunch of hurdles await, including tonight. Nittany Lions and the Wolverines on whiteout night in Happy Valley, coming up soon. The Nissan Free Game Rush is next, after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Celebrating 150 years of college football. Check this out. Oh, okay. Grand finale. Oh! I like that, man. That's good. 
Welcome to the Nissan pregame rush. Nissan, premier partner of the Heisman Trophy. And welcome back to Beaver Stadium. Nittany Lions entrance just moments away now. This game has a strong defensive personality, so a challenge, Kirk, for both offenses. For Penn State, up and down. They struggled against some pretty good competition, including last week against Iowa. Some fresh faces. How can they get the ball to one of this sport's most dynamic playmakers? Yeah, K.J. Hamler, one of the most electrifying route runners in college football. What they're going to try to do is isolate him. And when they ice, get, get him isolated like he is here in the slot against Purdue, he's going to look over, get the check, look at all the room because he's the inside receiver he has to work with to get the ball to the outside. That's what Don Brown wants to avoid as much as he has confidence in his defensive backs. To me, this is the key. Michigan is going to pressure just like this. Brought a linebacker here, brought a safety, picked up perfectly. That's step number one. Step number two, use Hamler sometimes as a decoy. Let him flood the zone. Take two defensive backs with him. It can open up other areas of the field for other receivers to be able to make a play it's like Jahan Dotson here who does a nice job of being able to bring that pass in and running after the catch. In my opinion tonight, it's not just about K.J. Hamler. It's about who has a coming out party. Who else besides Hamler can help Sean Clifford in the passing game? Great point. Who can step up? Because right now it's very unbalanced. Hamler has more career receptions, yards, and touchdowns than the rest of the team combined. He comes from Pontiac, Michigan. Highly motivated because the Wolverines bracketed him and took him out of the game last year. Maria Taylor is down there in the Penn State student section where this whiteout mayhem was born 15 years ago. Good evening, Maria. And good evening, Chris. I can't hear myself think at all, but what I do know is a lot of these fans got here at 445 to do just this. Create a ruckus and be loud. They said that they take to heart creating false starts against their opponents. And as you can hear, it basically sounds like an avalanche, or as Etor Grosmatos put it, turbulence when they enter the stadium here in Beaver Stadium. Maria, this drive because this crowd was able to disrupt opposing offenses who commented on it. 2007, the rest of the stadium joined the student section. This is the 12th All-Stadium Whiteout, but Penn State is just 5 and 6 in the previous 11. It's a good team and a great effort to beat the Lions in this crowd. James Franklin talks about the eight seconds he spends feeling the energy holding his players back before they make this entrance you could ask for. Is Michigan up to this? Will Penn State feed off of it? This has been the Nissan pregame rush kickoff coming up. But now we'll look inside Nissan's Heisman house.